hey hi uh, welcome back to the channel so today we'll discuss this third problem asked in today's lead code weekly contest 481 it says you are given two integer array nums and forbidden uh, each of length n now you may perform the following operation any number of times so in one operation what you can do you can choose two indices i and j and you can swap them right so swap nums of i and with nums of j now uh, after applying these operations you have to find out the minimum number of swaps required such that for every index i the value of nums of i is not equal to forbidden of i right and if no amount of swap can ensure that uh, every index avoids its forbidden value then we have to return minus one right so in this problem you just have to find out the minimum number of swaps that could be possibly required so that each at each index your nums of i value is not equals to forbidden of i right so for example in this test case this is your nums and this is your forbidden 1 2 3 and 3 2 1 if you see here uh, index number 0 1 and 2 right so index number 1 you have nums of i also equals to 2 and forbidden of i also equals to 2 right so we have to apply at least one swap so let's see swapping uh, so swapping one time would help you uh, or not so what you can do you can swap index number 0 and index number 1 so after swapping if you see it become 2 1 and 3 right and after swapping like then you see so none of the indexes have same uh, nums of i value and forbidden of i value right so using one operation we can easily change these nums such that at each index uh, nums of i is not equal to forbidden of i so yeah it's a good problem let's see how you can approach it We'll understand this third problem through code itself uh, because I felt like this problem is uh, more intuition problem. So like if I explain through code, you would understand it better, right? So first we will try to find out uh, the case when it won't be possible to convert the given array nums into such array such that like at each index your nums of i is not equal to forbidden of i, right? So uh, to find out that condition, let's understand it through one example. Let's say uh, this is your nums array right this is your nums array and this is your forbidden array right let's say nums array uh, you have a number let's say four right so four occurs four number of times and then you have some other numbers right that doesn't matter in this case now in forbidden array let's say also you have uh, four somewhere right let's say uh, these are the number four and then you have some other numbers also right other numbers also we know that like uh, so to make this nums array good we have to swap these numbers in such a way that at each of these four position four shouldn't be placed at these indexes right because we have to make uh, nums of i nums of i not equals to forbidden of i right that's a condition that we have to uh, follow so we know that at these indexes four shouldn't come right then how many numbers we have which doesn't have four that is nothing but n minus the count of four in this forbidden array right n minus let's say this is count of four so these many numbers you have where four is not present and i know that so only these are the indexes like only these are the numbers that can be uh, placed at uh, these positions right so to check whether the answer would exist or not what you can do for each uh, unique number in the nums array we can check if the frequency of that number right if the frequency of that number so in this case frequency of 4 if frequency of 4 is greater than n minus frequency of count of 4 in the forbidden array then your answer won't exist so just return minus 1 right this won't be possible uh, to convert this nums array into the desired array that's exactly what i have done so for to find out the frequency of these unique numbers in both the array i have used this unordered map count and uh, count and forbidden count like f underscore count so go through each of the index just increment the count of nums of i in count uh, map and just increment the forbidden of i count in f count right and to check whether uh, there exist uh, answer or not what you can do you can go through each of the unique number and we can check if the frequency of that number like the frequency of that number in uh, count is greater than and minus the frequency of that number in in this forbidden count 
if that's true like if frequency is more than this then there won't be possible to uh, like convert this nums into the desired array right so just return minus one otherwise answer will always exist so let's see how we can find out the answer then uh, the next step would be uh, to find out how many uh, bad indexes are there right so because we know that in nums array like it might be possible that there uh, like there is no bad index bad index means that uh, your at any index i your nums of i let's say nums of i is also 5 and forbidden of i is also 5 so this is a bad index right so i want to find out how many bad indexes are there so m would count how many bad indices are there and this uh, bad value count map would uh, find out the frequency of that number right so go through each of the index just check if the like if at this index the numbers are uh, uh, not good i mean bad numbers are there means nums of i is equals to forbidden of i then increment your bad count and just increment the frequency of that number right after that uh, check if m is zero like if there is no uh, bad indexes are there then just return minus one right because you don't have to apply any operation for example let's say your nums is one two and uh, your forbidden array is two one so here there is no bad index so you don't have to apply any operation just return zero otherwise we will try to find out what is the maximum bad uh, numbers are there so the maximum bad number would be so go through each of the uh, like so each of the unique number in this bad count value so if this uh, bad value count would store the value and frequency right value and frequency so for example here if you see your nums array you have 4444 right so let's assume you also have uh, corresponding 4 at these 4 places right uh, like in the forbidden array so here these 4 are the bad index right so this um, map would store 4 and 4 like a, I mean 4 is the n number value and 4 is the frequency right the frequency also here is 4 let's say you also have 4 and 4 right so here um, the frequency would have been 5 right 4 and 5 so this would be stored now uh, these two are the unavoidable uh, lower bound that you have to follow like your answer would exist maximum of these two because these two va values are unavoidable let's see how this this what this max bad says max bad says is the uh, this is the maximum uh, frequency of any uh, bad group of numbers right here if you see you have to convert uh, this four like you have to uh, swap some uh, numbers such that at these indexes four shouldn't be there right so how many swap operation which you have to follow you have to swap this four with some other number 4 with some other number, 4 with some other number, similarly swap this also, this also and this also. Once you swap these uh, values, then you, so let's say you have found 5 here, then 3, 1, 2 and 1 or something like that, right? So how many swaps you applied uh, like to convert the given array into this array? That is nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, right? So you have to follow 5 number of swaps, that's a maximum uh, and that is equal to the maximum uh, group like the the maximum frequency of any unique bad number right so here if you see you applied five uh, swap operation to convert these uh, numbers to five three one two and one or something like that right so this is the first uh, lower bound like the first unavoidable uh, va value and now at the second place you have m plus one divided by two let's see what this is we know that you have m is the total bad indices right m is the total bad indices let's take one example uh, let's say you have one two three four like so this is your nums array this is your nums array and this is your forbidden array here also you have one two three and four right so uh, in this case let's see how many swaps are required to convert this and this nums array to desired array if you swap these two numbers right if you swap these two numbers then your nums become 2 1 and 4 3 if you see all these four indices like are different right the value at uh, the forbidden and nums are different so how many swaps you, which you had to follow here that is nothing but like m divided by 2 4 divided by 2 which is nothing but 2 so you so using two operation you converted the uh, given array into desired array right so these two are the 
unavoidable bounds that you have to follow right your answer would be the maximum of either max bad we we already discussed what i mean how to find out the max bad or like so in max bad we swap with other good indices right but here uh, in second case like in the second case you kind of swap operation in between so your answer should be maximum of max bad comma m plus 1 divided by 2 right so yeah that's all about this th third problem if you find the video please like share and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching have a nice day